Have you ever wondered what makes a TV series truly timeless? What enduring qualities elevate a show from a mere program to an everlasting symbol of the industry? One such series that stands the test of time is Gunsmoke, a staple of American television that first graced our screens in 1955. Its impact on popular culture is undeniable, and its legacy continues to shape the way we view the Wild West era. Gunsmoke is not just a television show, it's a window into a bygone era, a glimpse of the lawless frontier where justice and order hung in the balance. With its compelling characters, dramatic storytelling, and a rugged portrayal of the Old West, it has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? What cherished memory or personal experience do you hold close to your heart related to Gunsmoke? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's saddle up and explore some random facts about this iconic show that's etched in the annals of television history. It's time to revisit Dodge City, where the spirit of the Wild West still lives on through the adventures of Marshal Matt Dillon and his loyal friends. Gunsmoke, a groundbreaking TV series that aired from 1955 to 1975, originated as a radio show in the early 1950s before making its transition to the small screen. The show was set in the lawless frontier town of Dodge City, where Marshal Matt Dillon, portrayed by James Arness, upheld justice while navigating the challenges of the Wild West. The series featured iconic characters like the sharp-witted Doc Adams and the likable, yet unpredictable, Chester Good. Gunsmoke was known for its unique blend of gritty realism and moral dilemmas, often delving into complex themes of morality, ethics, and the human condition. Its impact on popular culture was profound, as it paved the way for the modern Western genre, influencing countless TV shows and films in the years to come. Gunsmoke left an indelible mark on television history, serving as a timeless reminder of the enduring appeal of the Old West and the moral struggles of its inhabitants. Gunsmoke, a popular TV series that ran for an impressive 20 years, featured James Arness as Marshal Matt Dillon. Arness was the only actor to appear in every single episode. The show had an interesting origin. It began as a radio series in 1952, created by writer John Meston and producer Norman MacDonald. The radio version ran for more than 400 episodes and continued until 1961. Many of the early TV episodes were adaptations of Meston's radio scripts. Interestingly, the first choice for the role of Marshal Matt Dillon was John Wayne. However, Wayne declined, not wanting to commit to a weekly TV series. Instead, he recommended his good friend James Arness for the role, and even provided the on-camera introduction in the pilot episode. This blend of radio and TV success, along with the iconic role of James Arness, solidified Gunsmoke as a legendary series that left a lasting mark on the world of television. In 1955, the TV series Gunsmoke premiered, becoming one of the longest-running and most iconic Western shows in television history. The show's main character, Matt Dillon, was almost played by actors like William Conrad, Raymond Burr, and John Pickard, but it was James Arness who ultimately took on the role, with a little encouragement from John Wayne. This fact showcases the interesting casting choices that shaped the show's beginning. Gunsmoke ran for 20 seasons, during which Matt Dillon, played by James Arness, kissed only one lady, Michael Learned, in an episode titled Matt's Love Story. This tidbit adds a unique touch to the character's portrayal, highlighting the show's commitment to maintaining Matt Dillon's stoic image. In the radio series that preceded the TV show, Miss Kitty Russell was depicted as a madam for prostitutes. Initially, the TV series hinted at this, but after a couple of seasons, the producers decided to drop those references, making the show more family-friendly. Miss Kitty transformed into a lady saloon owner, emphasizing how the show adapted to the changing television landscape to cater to a broader audience. These facts provide a glimpse into the fascinating behind-the-scenes decisions and character developments that contributed to the enduring popularity of Gunsmoke, making it a beloved classic in the world of Western television. The series Gunsmoke, which ran for 20 seasons starting in 1955, had an interesting approach to its writing crew. Whenever they found themselves running out of fresh ideas or recycling stories, they completely replaced the writing crew with a new one. This approach helped keep the show's content from becoming stale 
and ensured that viewers continued to enjoy the adventures of Marshall Matt Dillon in the Wild West. Set in the 1870s, the show depicted life in Dodge City, Kansas. It's worth noting that while Kansas had entered the Union in 1861, the U.S., Marshall's service typically provided law enforcement in territories, not states. In this context, Matt Dillon's role as a U.S. Marshal would have been more akin to that of a deputy U.S. Marshal, as each state had one U.S. Marshal responsible for all the deputy U.S. Marshals in their jurisdiction. One of the show's actors, Dennis Weaver, expressed regret about giving his character, Chester, a limp. He hadn't realized the effort it would take to maintain this character trait in all of Chester's actions throughout the series. In summary, Gunsmoke stood out not only for its long run, but also for its approach to maintaining fresh storylines through regular changes in its writing crew. Furthermore, the show's historical setting in Kansas in the 1870s had some deviations from the reality of law enforcement at the time. Gunsmoke, a popular TV series that ran for 20 years, featured James Arnes and Milburn Stone as the only two regulars to remain throughout its 635 episodes on CBS. In 1971, due to Milburn Stone's heart attack, Pat Hingle temporarily replaced him as Dr. John Chapman for six episodes. Interestingly, Dennis Weaver initially failed his audition for the character Chester, but won the role by adding his famous country accent. In Spanish-speaking countries, the show is known as La Ley del River. Gunsmoke's enduring success and memorable characters have left a lasting impact on television history. Gunsmoke, a classic TV series that premiered in 1955, holds a significant place in the history of television. It was based on a popular radio series and featured Marshall Matt Dillon as the central character. One interesting fact about the show is that its beginning sequence, where Marshal Matt Dillon walks through Boot Hill and provides the opening narration, was directly taken from the radio series. This provided a seamless transition from radio to television and allowed fans of the radio show to feel at home with the TV adaptation. Moreover, Gunsmoke, along with the life and legend of Wyatt Earp, played a pivotal role in the rise of the television western genre. These shows set the stage for a golden era of TV westerns in the 1950s. By the end of the decade, the popularity of westerns was so immense that as many as 40 of them were airing in primetime, showcasing the enduring appeal of the Wild West on the small screen. James Arnes, the actor who portrayed Marshall Matt Dillon, had a remarkable real-life story as well. He served in World War II and was severely wounded in the line of duty. His military service, during which he received several honors, added depth to his portrayal of the strong and resilient Marshal in Gunsmoke. In conclusion, Gunsmoke left a lasting mark on television history as it successfully made the transition from radio to television and played a pivotal role in the popularity of TV westerns. This show, featuring James Arnes in a defining role, remains a classic in the world of entertainment. As we ride off into the sunset, let's take a moment to reflect on the timeless classic that is the 1955 TV series, Gunsmoke. This iconic show, spanning two decades, left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Its compelling characters, gripping narratives, and the rugged charm of Marshall Matt Dillon, Miss Kitty, Doc Adams, and Festus Hagen have etched themselves into the annals of television history. Gunsmoke wasn't just a show, it was a journey back to the Wild West, a place where justice, honor, and grit took center stage. It reminds us of the virtues that have stood the test of time, and continues to capture the hearts of generations. Whether it's the showdowns at the Long Branch Saloon, the pursuit of outlaws, or the moral dilemmas that unfolded, there's something in Gunsmoke that resonates with all of us. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and memories of this remarkable series. Did you cheer for the noble Marshal Dillon, or perhaps you found yourself drawn to the complexities of the supporting characters? Were there moments that left you on the edge of your seat, or lessons you took away from the dusty streets of Dodge City? We'd love to hear your stories and insights. After all, it's the community of fans like you that keeps the spirit of Gunsmoke alive. Thank you for taking this journey with us and for your unwavering interest in the world of Gunsmoke. Your reflections and memories make the legacy of this show even richer. Until we meet again, keep those campfires burning and your favorite Gunsmoke moments close to your heart.